Hi everyone, we are already in 2024 and I wish you a very happy new year. As 2024 is starting, so is the starting hiring season. So I am taking lot of interviews as well. Okay. And one of the candidate I asked is, since this is beginning of 2024, can you talk me what are the new trends in AI in this year and years coming forward? Now AI is going to be a $200 billion industry by 2025 that's the prediction okay you and me are data scientists and if we can't talk of top ai trends then it does not look good okay in this video i'm going to talk about five six seven top ai trends that you must be aware if somebody tells you to talk on this topic you should be able to talk for at least 10 15 minutes okay let's spend some time and try to understand key ai trends in 2024 okay so what is the first trend or first thing that comes to your mind when I say AI in the recent few months, one year like that. The first trend in the world of AI is nothing but generative AI. Okay. Now, do you know how many uh, companies are using generative AI for their work now? And how many is the projected companies will be using going forward? So until one to two years back, right, less than 5% of the organizations were using Gen AI for some of their activities. But I have the data in front of me. Companies, 80% plus companies will use Gen AI application by 2026. Okay. Now, Gen AI does not only mean chat GPT. Gen AI does not only mean some high end fancy models that you hear, right? Gen AI can be very simple as creating a PPT for me. It can be very simple as writing an article for me. But the Gartner predicts that by 2026, 80% plus companies will use Gen AI in some or other form. So obviously this is one of the key trend that you and me should be aware of as a data scientist. Okay. What is the second trend in AI that you must know, you must be aware of? There is something known as augmented working. Okay. One simple example of augmented working is let's say I want to create a PPT. Okay. And I don't know what are the five bullet points I should put in that PPT. So I'm going to chat GPT and say that give me the five points on, let's say, unemployment in India. So chat GPT will give me five points. Okay. Now this is going to get bigger and bigger. So if I want to write an essay, write a summary, write an article, I want to shorten something, uh, I want to lengthen something, I want to get a summary, I want to write uh, emails, I want to um, analyze a document, I want to understand the sentiment. So all these small small things right it can come into the category of something known as augmented working where human work but i want my work to be augmented by an ai device or ai tool this is one area which is upcoming trend in the world of ai now whenever we talk of augmented ai right so always the privacy concerns will come into picture so all these things you should know because when you are talking to stakeholders you are talking to businesses you should know what you are talking okay so whenever we talk of augmented AI, suppose I built my own AI tool that does a, let's say data analysis for me. So let's say I build a tool of myself where I can speak and get my data analysis done. Let's, let's assume that for an example. Now, can I upload my company's data there and get my analysis done? No, due to privacy concerns, right? So augmented AI, one key area, but privacy, security, compliance concerns are there. So know this trend as well. Trend number three I'm going to talk about here is known as coding through AI. Now, uh, the basic level coding or normal coding from the chat GPT, etc. you would have done. But what special thing it brings to the coding AI that we need to understand. So, however good developer you are, I'm not talking about some top 5 percentile leave it. But normally, uh, there will be issues related to modularization of the code, security of the code, exception handling. Um, reusing the same code component, debugging aspects of the code, right? So AI is getting smarter and smarter and many and many people are using AI for coding purposes as well. So as we move forward in this area, AI coding is one of the area you should know that is trending and that is um, many companies are working in this aspect. So whatever I'm talking here, you can Google these terms and you can know more about the term because I am also going to talk about some of the new job titles that have come in the AI area so that you are aware of that as well. 
so let's know more about these things okay now i want to talk about something known as ai legislation so do you know what is ai legislation so sometimes in client conversations or in some stakeholder conversations these topics may come into picture okay so basically if you see govern the use of ai now european union is bringing a bill to say in the in their uh, governing system where they are bringing a bill to monitor the usage of ai okay and things like that will come in all the governments very very soon that comes under the bucket of ai legislation what are you going to do with the ai is it ethical is it moral is it good to do is it good for the humanity good for the climate what is that you are trying to do through ai okay so in governments you will see the bills and legislations related to ai very very soon everywhere you are going to see that okay if you want to search search for european union ai act so you will know what i am talking here okay european union ai act now i also want you to know about some new age ai jobs so till now i have spoken about generative ai i have spoken about legislation in ai i have spoken about coding through ai and multiple things right so what are the new age ai jobs so when we talk of ai we only limit ourselves to data scientist right but no think about there will be people needing to monitor what a model is producing is it fair it is is it unbiased is it not doing any disparity is it doing what it is intending to do so in one way the ethical part of the ai okay so new job title in the market you can note it down you can google on it somebody to work with ai ethics okay so ai ethicist if i'm pronouncing it right you can search for this job role okay and i personally find it very very interesting second thing i want to talk about is talking of privacy transparency fairness bias etc right ai ethicist come into picture and then ai regulatory expert so who are the regulatory experts in ai so i just now spoke about ai legislation right ai regulation so there will be people in an organization who will see for example i work for abc organization my organization builds some xyz models in let's say australia right so based on australia regulatory requirements based on australia rules based on australia legislation is my model doing what it is intending to do is my ai system in sync with what the governments and governing bodies and systems want it to do okay so ai regulatory experts new job role in the world of ai ai product managers new job role in the world of ai now ai product manager you may be seeing in linkedin but it is going to grow bigger and bigger okay and then uh, what other things can you do in the umbrella of ai through all these new aspects right there is something called as hci if i'm not wrong human con computer interaction designer so now how do you interact with chat gpt you go and write your queries right or through a ai tool you just go and speak something and get your responses right this is going to get more advanced and advanced and advanced too. so there is a concept of hci human computer interface uh, the the full form may be little uh, different also but the meaning remains the same okay so there will be designers needing for this particular purposes only now somebody who understands ai or data science they can design these systems better okay so hci designer you can search for the next thing i want to talk about is everything related to customer service okay be it you waiting on the phone line be it you writing an email for customer service be it you getting your machines repaired you getting your um, any kind of services right improving customer satisfaction customer retention improving customer acquiring cost okay cost optimization everything to do with customer satisfaction and retention there are n number of things that could be done in latest ai developments i'm not talking about traditional ai latest ai think of gen ai what gen ai can do in terms of optimizing customer acquisition cost think on these lines okay uh, in one hand take gen ai gen ai for example in other hand take the traditionally what we try to achieve from ai and then you have to club both these and see what kind of solutions you can provide to the client okay for example if client comes to me and tells me that you know my customers are frustrated because they need to uh, wait on the phone lines for longer time when they call us okay so what can i do through some gni tool can i understand the context of the customer and reduce the time and can i put that in a model and publish the model so any kind of customer satisfaction improvement 
if you can do through new age ai right that is another trend in which the market is moving okay i have spoken about seven eight trends here as i told in the beginning if you are given a chance you should be able to speak on this topic for at least 10 15 minutes because you and me are data scientists you cannot me and you cannot become like a normal person using chat gpt okay know these trends see if something is aligning to your interest and move forward in your direction once again wish you a very happy new year guys i'll come up with more interesting videos in this year see you all wherever you are stay safe and take care